download Python, as well as various Python packages for a Mac operating system, Macintosh operating system on an Apple computer. We will then download GitHub Desktop and use this to clone or download the community water model we call CWATM. Finally, we will download input data so that we can run the community water model, CWATM, and simulate the water cycle for a region of our choosing. Let us begin by going to a web browser and searching for miniconda, M-I-N-I-C-O-N-D-A, space, Python version, P-Y-T-H-O-N, space, version, V-E-R-S-I-O-N. We're looking for this link, latest miniconda installer links by Python version. We want the most recent version of Python. We're on a Mac operating system. So we have the most recent version currently is Python 3.12. We're on a Mac. And we want the package. So let's click here. Go to downloads, click the package, and walk through this installer. Continue, 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 agree, install, password, install software. Close. Move to trash. Now to see if this worked, let's go to the search, click the magnifying glass, and type in the word terminal. T-E-R-M-I-N-A-L. Terminal. Let me type in the word Python. P-Y-T-H-O-N. Enter. We see here Python 3.12 packaged by Anaconda. All looks good. Let's type an exit, E-X-I-T, open parentheses, close parentheses. Let us create a virtual environment where we will then install packages. We do this by typing conda, C-O-N-D-A, space create, C-R-E-A-T-E, space, dash dash, name, N-A-M-E, space in the name of our virtual environment. This is up to us. Since I'm installing this for the community water model, I'm going to call our virtual environment C, the letter C, W-A-T-M. Just so we can see it a little bit better, conda space create space dash dash name space C what M. Enter. Stay zoomed in here. Proceed, type in the letter Y, enter. 
Okay. Let's now install, first let's activate our environment. To do this we type in conda, C-O-N-D-A space, activate, A-C-T-I-V-A-T-E space, then the name of our virtual environment, in this case, C -what -M, C -W -A -T -M. We see here in parentheses, C -what -M. This lets us know we are in our virtual environment called C -what -M. Let's install various packages. We do this by typing conda, C-O-N-D-A space, install, I-N-S-T-A-L-L, -L, the name of our package. Let us start with numpy, N-U-M-P-Y. Proceed, Y, enter. We are getting these what these messages here that we need not worry about now. Let us install SciPy, conda c o n d a install i n s t a l l SciPy s c i p y enter. Proceed, Y, enter. Our next package, netcdf4, conda, install, net, n-e-t, c-d-f-4. Proceed, Y, enter. Perfect, two more packages to go. Conda, install, pandas, P-A-N-D-A-S. Y, enter. And our last one, conda install gdal. We will in another video install two other packages, but for what we want to do today, these packages will suffice. Y, enter. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a glass of water. I'm back. Perfect. Zoom out. That's all we need this terminal for. Let's now search for GitHub, G-I-T-H-U-B space desktop, D-E-S-K-T-O-P, enter.
GitHub desktop, click the first link. It says download from Mac OS. Just so we see, I'm using Mac OS Monterey, which is uh, relatively old by now, but this should work from version 11. It should work from version 10.15 onwards. For GitHub Desktop, we need version 10.15 or later. So here we're totally fine. Uh, download for Mac OS. It recognizes that we're on a, using a Mac operating system. Click into downloads, click the icon for GitHub Desktop. Click on open. Now there is no need at this point to create an account with GitHub. We can simply skip this step, but feel comfortable also creating a free account. Uh, we'll have to configure it in any case. Let me call this Mikhail Mac, and my email for this purpose. I wonder if it'll recognize my account if I use my email. Let me try. It suggests that we move the GitHub desktop into the applications folder, move and restart. Uh, let's, let's do this. Move and restart. Uh, the appropriate password, okay. Error, fail to copy. Let's do that ourselves. Let's close out of everything. Open the applications folder. I'm gonna search for application. Find the Applications folder, Applications. I'm going to go to Downloads. Let me close this. Quit. Downloads. I'm going to drag GitHub Desk Desktop into Applications. It might be more flawless uh, on your computer when it asks to do it automatically, but in this case, we had to do it manually. Let me double-click GitHub Desktop from the Applications folder. Okay, let's go clone a repository from the internet. Ah, let's try it in this way. Let's go into Safari and let us search for GitHub space CWATM. C W A T M. We find community water model CWATM as a hydrological. Perfect. In case this link doesn't come up, what we're looking for here is github.com slash IASA, I-I-A-S-A, slash CWATM. When we get to this website, IASA slash CWATM, we see this green code button to the right. Push the down arrow, and we have the option open with GitHub Desktop. Let us try this. Mm, it didn't work. We try another foolproof method. Come back to the website. I closed out of it. Always good to do it again. GitHub space CWATM. This website. The down arrow on the green button. Now I'm going to go to this HTTPS and I'm going to copy this. Copy. Come back here and I have three options. Let's go to the first clone a repository from the internet. I push this. I come to URL and I type in here or paste in here with command command V what I just copied from the GitHub website. I would keep this as it suggests, but feel comfortable changing it where you wish. But make sure it's within a GitHub folder. So anything we clone or take from GitHub is all going to be in the same space. Clone. 
It may not have worked uh, directly with GitHub Desktop because we don't have an account. But uh, copying it as we did, again, we go through that down arrow, HTTPS, cop URL to clipboard. This will, this will always work. They open with GitHub Desktop, perhaps only if we have an account. What we are doing is downloading CWM, but it's called cloning because we're still connected to GitHub. So whenever a developer of CWM creates a change in CWM, we have the chance to pull those changes or update our version of CWM with the push of a button. So not a hard download, but a always somehow connected download or a clone. Perfect. We want to now clone the input data for CWM. While on this page, scroll down and you're going to find a link to the repository cwm-earth-30minute. You can also just come to this link, github.com slash yasa, that's I-I-A-S-A -S slash cwm-earth-30minute. Same process, down button, copy, Come to GitHub Desktop. Now here it's a little bit different because it's not the first repository we're cloning. So let's go to File at the top and let's go to Clone Repository. So File, Clone Repository, click. Now it's the same options we saw as before. We come to URL on the right and copy what we just copied from, or paste what we just copied. And we see we're still in the GitHub folder. Let's see what I'm suggested in the first place, and clone. There, one creates different input data for CWM at higher resolutions uh, as fit for their own region, but the 30-minute input data, globally, we can fit onto GitHub. Anything that's of higher resolution uh, doesn't fit yet on GitHub, and we have to download in a different way. But this is the greatest way to start using CWM. It's globally available input data for CWM at 30 arc minute, which is about 50 by 50 kilometers. This includes all the input files except for the climate data that we'll now download in a different way. So CWM, the community water model, is an open source hydrological model. That is, the code is free to use, uh, free to copy, and free to play with, and allows one to simulate the water cycle. That is, all of the main hydrological processes, including the influence from human water management, or the influence of humans on the water cycle. We'll need to initialize git lfs. lfs stands for large file storage. Great. We've done everything we need to now do with GitHub. Before we download the climate data, let's just make sure that CWM is running as we expect it to and that Python is downloaded as we expect it to. Let's click the down arrow and go back to CWM. We want to go to the folder where CWM is on our computer. So if I go to repository and go show in Finder, it has now opened the folder CWM. I want to open a terminal in this folder. If I right click, not here. I come to this sort of three-columned icon and I 
right click on CWATM or with two fingers tap and I'm gonna go to new terminal at folder this opens a terminal opening up inside of this folder let's activate our virtual environment conda c o n d a activate a c t i v a t a e uh, c what m we're going to type in python p y t h o n run underscore c w a t m dot p y enter first time it runs it takes significantly longer than the subsequent times. We also get these messages they will not come back the second or subsequent times that we run the model. And, uh, and this is me. Mikhail Smilovich, and these are all my colleagues that I have the wonderful opportunity to work with and develop this model. There are other developers of the community water model that aren't mentioned here. Um, they're all, they're all uh, credited on the GitHub webpage. Okay, this lets us know that the model at least can start and that all the Python packages probably are installed correctly. What we'll do next is download the climate data and then configure our settings file to run on our computer to actually produce outputs for simulating the water cycle for a region of our choosing. But this is also a, a, right now a, a point of success. We've made it this far. Let us download some climate data. If I come back to this GitHub web page uh, where we're on see what M Earth 30 minute and I scroll down I see a link here, Global Climate in 10-Year Chunks. I'm going to click this, and it's going to take me to a Google Drive folder. And let's take the most recent data. This is a decade of data from 2011 to 2019. And let's, let's download this. Herunterladen, download. Um, download in any case, but it's too large for Google to scan for viruses, it's saying. Now this is going to take some time. Uh, we'll start the next video when this data has downloaded. So uh, thanks for joining me till here. We'll see each other shortly. Ciao.